video game movies. Oh yes, video game movies are known, no notorious for being very, very, very bad. Okay, let's not forget the Mario Bros. movie existing. And yeah, there are, but I actually have a top four movies, video game, good video game movies. I was going to put like a, you know, there's a lot of bad video game movies out there. Yes, there's a lot of them. But here are four movies that I like. These are my personal opinions, of course. And no, we'll not be talking about movies. Well, movies that will be excluded from this list that are about video games, but, yeah, they're not based off any video games. Ready Player One is about video games. It's not based, there's no video game called Ready Player One. It would be cool, though, but, yeah, Pixels is based off arcade games, but, yeah, it's, based, it's not based off any video game already existing. And, of course, let's not forget... Jumanji, the new Jumanji movies, where it's ba- where it's where the story is about a video game, but it's not based off any video games, or else they would have been on this list anyways. So yeah, and I because I like all those movies, but yeah, there's a there's a whole list of movies based off video games, and yeah, there's a there's a lot of them, but there's a lot of, the video game movies have gotten better. Hopefully, the Mortal Kombat movie and Minecraft movies are good, considering the how video game movies have included. And no, I'm not including Assassin's Creed because I hated that movie. And Tomb Raider, I hated both of those movies. But I've seen the other video game movies, the other four that have come out over the last few years, besides the Resident Evil movies and Warcraft. Yeah, we'll be going over them. And yeah, those could be... Those could, there might be some spoilers. There might not be. Really. You gotta be kidding me, Sony. You gotta be kidding me. Why? This is really a Just Dance movie. Really? But yeah, we'll be going over five video game movies. That yeah, if you like video if you like these games or if you, or you're a fan of any of these four games on this list, you should see them. And no, we'll not be including the Ubimph of the anime the Kujillion anime Pokemon movies that have come out, okay? People will be like, Oh well it's the anime Pokemon movies. I used to wait I watched I loved watching those movies as a kid, but yeah, I'm not gonna put those movies on the list. Because, yeah, they are, because they are anime, they're based off the Pokemon anime, which, yeah, the anime movies then, which could get a separate list. But that would be all Dragon Ball movies anyways, because, yeah, they're the only ones I like, so, yeah. The first movie on the list, it, we'll be going over by release date order. So, in 2016, yeah, there was, there was no, 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 that was 2015. In 2016, 2016 was a pretty yeah, bad year for the box office. Yeah, it was not really that great. There was there was a sequel to Finding Nemo. And there was Rogue One. Those were the only movies that passed a billion dollars that year. I think Zoot- Zootopia came out in 2015, I think. Oh, no, it came out, I think this, no, Zootopia came out in 2016. Uh, who, who cares? But yeah. Yeah, but the first movie we're going over is a surprising movie. Four years ago, I made a video that simply saying this movie sucks. Dismissing this movie based off its source material. And yes, that is the Angry Birds movie. Yes. Four years ago, I I literally dismissed this movie because it's based off the Angry Birds movie. If they made a Fortnite movie, I would still be angry. Because why would they? I'm never going to watch a Fortnite movie. But yeah. The Angry Birds movie... I used to play the Angry Birds movies or games when I was like when like eight years ago or nine years ago when they were popular, but yeah, the Angry Birds movie is a of course a comedy movie here and yeah it, I'm not gonna show the part. Or I think I accidentally spoiled the movie for you because you can read this on Wikipedia. I'm just gonna go over here, okay? Go over here and yeah. Oh yeah, I can just click on any of these movies over here. But yeah, the Angry Birds movie was a very, 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 very surprising movie. I can see why the second movie had such a high score on Watch Bills. I have not seen that one yet, but yeah. Basically, Angry Birds movie is a very, very, very entertained movie. And if you want to watch a movie that is just pure entertainment, Angry Birds movie is a movie for is a good movie for that. Yeah, there's the the characters are pretty decent. The char- the storyline is simple. Just like the games, Angry Birds, they're not, Angry Birds are not really known for its storytelling, but Angry Birds does deliver on the entertainment aspects. It does deliver on entertainment, humor, 
And yeah, that you can see why the second movie had such high had such high praise by critics. Because the Angry Birds movie one and two, I haven't seen the second one. I'm going to see it soon. It's just pure entertainment value, and the entertainment value is pretty high for the Angry Birds movie one and two. Both of them are pretty entertaining movies. There's a lot of good jokes in the movie, and a lot of you know, you know, funny and good moments in the movie. And I'm not gonna spoil the best moment of the movie. That the moment with the bird, with the big bird. The next movie is two years later, a movie based off a, a movie that I thought would no, that I thought they would never make is ramp a movie based off the video game Rampage. Of course, God's Kaiju movies have been all the way these days. There was Pacific Rim, Godzilla came made a comeback, and made Hollywood I finally got Godzilla right, but then. In 2018, they made a movie based off Rampage. And yeah, it's way better than the King Kong movie with B. Watson in it. Oh, you say because you hate, but because B. Watson. Yes, I mean, I hate it. No, I, I, yeah, it's my least favorite monster first because it's B. Watson in it. Anyway, yeah, I always, you know, she's forgettable, anyways. But yeah, Rampage is a movie that is based off a game called Rampage, which is a very, very fun game. It's a mindless entertainment. And the movie is this is essentially what the games are. Okay? What the games are, okay? What do you what will you expect from a Rampage movie? Monsters destroying city. It's kind of a, what you expect from Godzilla. God mon, a Godzilla movie of monsters. Monsters fighting and destroying cities. And that's what Rampage is. It's monsters destroying city at the end. The final part of the scene is basically like the games. Monsters destroying cities. And even fight scenes like in the Godzilla movies. Where the monsters all fight. And yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun movie to watch. It's a pretty good movie. So yeah. If, I, if you like the game Rampage. If you played the game. I played the GameCube game. Yeah, it's a pretty fun movie to watch. The next movie is based off Pokemon. And, and it, yeah, we all know where we're going with this. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. It's one of the best video game movies of all time. And yeah, we all, I made a review on this movie. I'm not going to spoil the movie for you like I did in the review. Pikachu is... Come on, it's Wild Reynolds voiced as Pikachu. Okay, how can he not... Of course, Deadpool... Is one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. And now you get Pikachu, Wild Reynolds' voice. It's one of the funniest things in the entire world. And other than that, the part is pretty great with, you know, the corporate guys, you know. The one, the real bad guy was behind it all the time. And Mewtwo gets his body taken over. Those are spoilers for the movies. But yeah. It's a pretty good movie, a lot of entertaining moments, and a lot of touching moments throughout the movies. And yeah, basically, the, and I'm not going to spoil the whole reason why Pikachu is the only put Tim can only understand Pikachu. I just spoil the whole twist of the movie. But yeah, it's a very good movie. It's, if you like Pokemon, you like this movie. If you don't like, it's really a base stop if you like Pokemon, or if you don't like Pokemon. And now, the last movie. And this movie literally just came out months ago. Oh yes, the Sonic movie. Of course, the Sonic movie. Yes. If you are a fan of Sonic, you will like this movie. That's simple as that. Sonic is one of my favorite game franchises. And yes, people are like, oh, but the Sonic games suck. It's unreasonable, okay? The only Sonic games I don't like is the Terrible Racing game. And the terrible Connect game because the Connect sucks. And yeah, and of course, let's not forget Sonic 06 and the Sonic Boom games. Other than that, the Sonic movie was amazing. It's the, it's among video game movies, it's a masterpiece. Among video game movies, because yeah, it's, a, it's a, among video game movies, it's simply a masterpiece. They simply got Sonic be Sonic, okay? Dr. Eggman is Dr. Eggman, okay? Of course, he's not big like in the games, but again, you have Jim Carrey playing the best possible role you could play as Dr. Eggman. The best possible way, because Dr. Eggman in some of the way the Sonic games is a, is a more comedic character. And you have Jim Carrey playing as Dr. Eggman. Come on. And of course, let's not forget the fact that the studio finally... For once in a blue moon, listened to the fans. 
They finally done it. They done. They finally made a movie that pleases the fans. And yes, I'm a fan of Sonic, and I was one of the people who demanded the Sonic design to be changed. And I and once they saw that tweet saying that they were gonna change the design of Sonic, I was all happy that though that this disaster of an old design would not be the final design. And yes, if this design was still the design of Sonic, it's, I would. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. I w it would have not been on this list because this Sonic design is basically a demon out of hell. So that's basically it. Goodbye.